House plans to hold a speaker election next week after House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was voted out of his position, something that has never happened before in the Republic. Join us now to talk more about it. And the next political moves coming our way is political analyst Tom Del Beccaro. Buongiorno. Are you still over across the pond? I uh, just got back from two weeks in Italy and about, and now I'm back in New York for a little bit and having uh, had a great trip. All right, so uh, everyone is saying, oh, run around, chaos, chaos, the republic is about to fall, you say. Well, no, the republic's not about to fall. We need to keep in mind that we've had a single republic since 1789, and the French have had five. We're not so bad off, but these are interesting times. And to put this into context, you can blame this on big government because the stakes are so incredibly high. Remember, we had 38 years of Democrat control of the House. It has now flipped numerous times in the last 15 years. And now we have a flip within the Republican Party because there is such disagreement on how to handle spending and spending causes division because it causes higher taxes, raises the stakes, all sorts of issues. Well, Tom, you can tell whose seat is safe and whose seat isn't by how hardline their stance is. That, that's pretty evident. But to me, paint me a scenario where the Republicans could actually win the public relations war here. Because if they just let let it go, well, then it's just kicking the can down the road, just like John Bonner and all everybody, and, the, and spending spirals out of control, and that doesn't sit well with conservative voters. But this doesn't sit well either, because it looks like now the House will move left when they don't even have the majority. So explain to me a scenario where the, Repu where the Republicans could actually come out smelling like roses. They elect a new speaker, and that speaker immediately undergoes or undertakes a massive PR campaign in America as to how ex excessive spending has led to the inflation that is harming people. And the only way to get it under control is to limit spending so that inflation can come down. And I mean a massive effort. They need to go out to America and not from Washington, D.C., but and, and honestly, Paul, I've been saying this for two decades, to get out there and connect with people and say, look, this is the source of inflation. This is how it's hurting your wages. This is why strikes are coming up. Strikes, oh, big labor strikes usually follow inflate, big inflation because it erodes wages. So the key to victory here is to key to going out and explaining why they need to get spending under control and get America on the side of that issue. That requires the media, an honest media, does it not? No. And, you know, honestly, I told this to, I think, Carl Rove 12, 13 years ago. Between cable TV and Twitter and the like, they could do this. Keep in mind, look at how many people uh, Trump and uh, others reach, uh, so Tucker and others, they can do this. This is why it's so important to continue to push those in alternatives. Trump got elected by ignoring uh, ABC, CBS, NBC and their affiliates. So they can do this, but it's got, it requires heavy lifting. And by the way, this is why <laughs> Franklin said a republic, madam, if you can keep it. It requires work. Well, the best thing that's come of all this, as I, far as I can tell at this hour, is the fact that Patrick McHenry kicked Nancy Pelosi out of her executive office. I mean, at least she's, now if she's rank and file, she has to be in a rank and file office, right? Yeah, keep in, keep in mind, throughout all of history, great leaders have changed the course of political rivers. And that's what we read, need right now, a great leader to take this opportunity that's being presented and make that difference. It's doable, but again, it's going to require some heavy lifting. Well, that's an optimistic note. I, I wish you a safe passage across the country, and perhaps when you're well uh, rested, we'll resume the conversation. We'll see how it's all going. All right, boss. Talk to you soon. Tom, uh, thank you for uh, making an effort to do this for us. It's very much appreciated.